the one who have attended yesterday anyone have any questions anyone have any questions since you have 10 minutes time clear all your doubts if any hmm? can you hear me can you hear me okay good so what's wrong come on anyone have any questions raja proshni sagar salman saurav sunil sunny ramsey kishor misha no one have any questions no if you feel shy to ask you know you can use the chat box see you won't get this chance again if you have anything in your mind please clear about your career path or anything you just have only 8 minutes mm -hmm. no one forgot one thing I just have a uh, general question. Yeah, tell yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, please. Okay. Uh, just uh, I did not join yesterday, but then this is just a general question I had for you. Um, uh, how is the um, market right now, and how is automation uh, making a difference in India, Indian market? Like, if you have any. Uh, mm. Mm, nice question. Actually, compared to the other countries, to be frank, like India is somehow behind because other countries like Denmark, Finland, Germany, Yemen, and like US, UK, so they are already in advance. They are already implementing this automation. Uh, you know, uh, like even the countries who are earning less on projects than us. Like let's consider Egypt. Okay, so even they are earning, they are also using, uh, you know, a BIM automation and their projects. Do you understand? Because automation knows. Yeah. Like for example, there is a company, okay, who quoted for a project. We know that is, uh, it takes around like six months with ten people. So the companies always think like, how can I finish the same project in three months with five people? that then there is the right. only solution automation because even though you have 15 years of experience or 30 years of experience a four hour task can't be done in one hour true it can you can't do it maybe 15 yeah. minutes or 30 minutes can be saved that's it but you can't save like 3 hours out of you know four hours seriously not so we need a system which understand our requirement and does exactly as instructed in a platform so instead of hiring and it won't do even a single additional step without your instruction everything should be instructed very clearly that i'm going to show you today okay with the help of a virtual okay. assistant okay so compared to the indian market yes you know um, we we can't compare seriously because i work for qatar uh, Uh, in Qatar, as an automation expert, I worked there in Singapore. So I worked. My last company were worked for Dubai as a BIM automation expert uh, and implementation expert. And then, unfortunately, COVID has come, and uh, I started my own um, in India. Okay, and in my company, okay. even I'm having like eight people, eight to nine people in my team, but still we are using automation in our projects. So in India, the biggest companies are already implementing, and they have a dedicated teams. Okay, when it comes to the yeah. growth, then when it comes to the growth, yeah. For example, you have a five years of experience, and as a BIM coordinator, okay. If you switch a company, the companies won't pay you more than ten or fifteen percent maximum. Very, if you are very lucky, twenty percent. Understand because there will be no difference in your production, only the experience. So you may be good at some sort of a design concepts or something else. So I mean, if you don't have a team management skills, 
then even you can't get the 20% hike also. Maybe they'll utilize, they'll cash it. Simple, they are your requirement. If you're planning for your home country or like in hometown or somewhere. So they'll cash it and they'll pay you maximum 10, 15%. There is a only one platform which pays you double, I mean, double than what you're expecting, what you're earning now. It is only happens in the IT industry. Seriously, go and check with your, if you are a mechanical engineer yeah. and if you are, uh, your sister is like uh, IT, okay, from IT engineer, if you both started a career at the same time, she will be earning better than you now. Seriously, within the same five years. Because they, I mean, for every switch, like they they deserve it. But it won't happen in BIM industry. But in BIM automation, we have that. Seriously, because we have to... Let me admit. Okay. So in BIM, BIM automation industry, we have that scope here. Understand? Okay. Because you are changing, you're not, it doesn't mean you are going to start something from the scratch, like something from the start. The companies are going to consider your experience with the automation in it, in addition. Okay. Because you're not going to save like uh, 15 minutes or 20 minutes. You're going to save hours and hours on a project. Understand? Okay. So today, yeah. actually, uh, we have, a, you can expect in one, one, two years that every company, I mean, in every person who is acting like a modeler or a coordinator, without Dynamo, they will not be accepted at all. Because for doing small, small stuff, at least, the small, small things, you must know uh, the Dynamo, seriously. The reason... Uh, I'll give you a very simple example. Okay. Um, your engineer have, you know, given you a task. Let me show you something. Dynamo. Presentation. Let's start. Let's say, no, not this. Not this. For an example, see, uh, this is an existing layout. I mean, you have done like, you know, you have marked the complete stuff. Unfortunately, what happened? Uh, here you would have L35. 37 is there and 36 is missing. Somewhere if 36 is missing and 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Some elements were missed. Do you understand? For example, you have forgot to mark, forgot to tag one element in between. So what do you have to do in an entire floor plan? You have to redo it again, correct? For example, if you forgot to mark something like uh, D35, you forgot D16 and you have done almost like 250 elements like that. So every element you have to rename it again, true? Or else you have marked the same element twice. You have named the same, I mean, like two different elements with the same name. And you later on, you realized, okay, we have a 250 elements, but the count, the end number, it is at 248. So what happened? You have to redo it again. Am I right? It's a, it's a very basic stuff. Like, uh, we generally, I, I come from that same experience. So I did that many times by mistake, like type errors. So these type OS can be fixed in just matter of seconds. Just matter of seconds. Do you understand? Let me show you. 
what does it mean? Uh, I'll just get some, um, maybe, writing pictures. Our, our workshop isn't started since you asked, um, giving some example. I know the category, so I have to pick the lighting pictures. I have to pick the lighting pictures, okay? And I'm telling that I have a category and I want you to pick, I want you to get all the elements of particular category. So what it is expecting the category, so you have to connect the category only. Then run completed and it's giving me 409 items. So in every element, I have marked some number over there. I have marked some number over there. So get parameter value by name and connect this. And then use, I'll connect the parameter name here. Now, it started from 13, 14, 16. I have a 409 items. Okay, in case if it, the first element is supposed to start with one, so what would be the end number? 409, but here we have a 501. So we have a 501. No, I want to rename all this. Now my engineer told me, no, Rajesh, we are going to use the mark number for a tag, to assign it to a tag. So with some hyphen, uh, like for example, if it is a lighting picture, so I want this as a LF hyphen 01. So this mark number I needed exactly. So I want to assign to a particular parameter. How long it will take generally to rename all those and assigning LF and hyphen to it? Tell me. Just give an assumption, not exact. Uh, that's not required. How long it will take to add LF hyphen that mark number? If I have 409 items in, in one floor or in the entire building, so for all in the entire building, I want to mark it as LF-01, LF-02, LF-03, 2 LF-409. 10 minutes. So you are super fast then. Okay, cool. Now, how do we do the same thing? For example, if something went wrong, no, my, you know, the management asked to change. I mean, your engineer comment, no, Rajesh, now it's not LF. So you have to add the floor wise. You have to add a level wise. So level one, L1 hyphen, LF hyphen zero one, L2 hyphen, LF hyphen, then 151. So this is the way it has to be. Now you have to rework again. How long it will take? How long it will take? Come on. Now, I need an answer from everyone. Please don't sit idle. Okay. I want this uh, workshop to be more interactive. So everyone, everyone to be, you know, please um, put your cursor on, you know, on the chat box, on the chat box. Okay. So please answer to me. Okay. So let's increase everyone. If you are doing it, everyone will do that. Okay. So how long? 1.5 hour. Correct. Let me show you. With the use with the use of automation, the use of automation, how how soon you can do that? Okay, how faster you can do that? So I have a numbers. First, I have to fix these numbers. First, I have to pick, you know, fix these numbers. Then I'll say that I use set parameter by name. Don't ask me what or I'm gonna explain everything. I have an element. And I know the mark parameter name, and I want you to set the values. First, I have to generate the values externally. One, two, four, not nine. Yeah, of course you'll get it, don't worry. It doesn't mean if you leave, I don't share it, okay? So, four, not nine, less. I'll do something here. Now, when I connect this to this, when I connect this to this, now they are changed. See, now I got fixed at 1 to 409 in just a second. Okay. Now, not only this, Rajesh. Let me fix, let me add that LF. So, additional function. 
so we i mean if you understand something i am not writing a single i am not writing a single line of a code in in the in the entire workshop no i am not going to write so i am not using python i am not using c sharp i am not using any blah 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 languages so i don't want here i don't want you to scare so this is a clear cut evidence that we are not using a coding and coding is not at all required to handle a dynamo guys please start learning either from bimmer or yourself or whatever start learning seriously okay because it's automation is going to be of future okay clear so i'll do this now i need a number so this alignments are re really important like when it should come and where it should come i'm going to teach everything in very very like a spoon feed and i'm seriously like you know uh, i struggled a lot while i was learning i don't want to let my students happen that my two whatever i have done like my 6 years 7 years of uh, experience r and d experience i have to feed you in just matter of 30 days it's not small thing maybe in we have a 30 students in a batch maybe you are a slow learner and there are quick learners but still i will be focusing on you itself only my target is you if you are a slow learner seriously okay so let me lf and hyphen let me connect this to this now i have a updated values i have an updated value so now it's so simple lf now if i want to go and assign this go i'll go and check all the lighting fixtures um let me turn off the lights as i've shown it example if i see that it's L lf 295 i'll i'll check this lf 185 do you see that when i click this lf 170 now they have the marks got it are you clear now guys are you clear how is it is no if i want to add some additional i mean additional suffix to it suffix to it like as i said like level 1 or level 2 or level 3 how do i do that very simple i need an additional information again i need a level information so the first the trick it's supposed to be asking if you know how to ask your mom mama i need a biryani so he'll pick he'll prepare she'll prepare the biryani only do you understand if you ask your mom to prepare a pastry like she she won't do pasta right she'll prepare the same as you asked okay so this concept we generally called as a prompt engineering prompting so it means questioning if you question something clearly you'll get the right answer if you ask something clearly you'll get the right answer so why i'm uh, you know including in the mid of this because i'm going to show you how to use a chat gpt to get the clear cut answers understand so you no need to use your 100 person brain we are in a world now okay so let it so now let me i have an element and can you please get me the level information out of out from it let me check will it get no so this is in working this is the biggest problem uh, for beginners so like they have seen some youtube videos uh there it shows like uh they used element dot level now the first confusion where it where it happens okay in youtube video this guy have uh done something uh he has placed a node called element dot level and you search in your uh dynamo library you don't have that you don't have that luckily you have here two so one is element level and the second one is an another one so which one i have to use now again there is a confusion again there are many confusions since you are a beginner you are a beginner when i was also because i am working on a live project if something went wrong my manager will kill me so i don't want to trial on this nothing will happen there are three different set of nodes as explained in the end of yesterday's workshop create action 
query if you understand what a node does class you will never scare so in in some of the nodes it it will clearly saying that are you do you want me to delete this element dot delete what what will happen element dot delete what if i connect all these elements to this what will happen what happen i'm asking you what will happen you will delete yes these elements are going to be deleted so this is a dangerous node this is a dangerous node so stay away when you are a beginner stay away of these nodes how do you know that to stay away from which set of nodes understand understand you know when you hover the cursor on this you will have a description see that when you hover the cursor on the node name element dot delete it going to show you something delete the element and any elements that are totally depend upon the element got it so this node is going to delete the elements okay when i hover the cursor on this what it is telling that return level of an element okay so it's just returning returning in the sense it is extracting some information it is not affecting your model even point not 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 1% so it's a 100% risk free node you can happily use it and you can happily connect that to what okay okay fine in youtube video it worked but in my uh, i don't have this node first scenario second scenario you have a node but it is not working so you will stop doing that we i mean that script there itself you will find an another uh, channel guy and you will open that video you just uh, again you doing uh, you exactly clone what you have done what is exactly doing it i know because i, I i'm from the same background i have done the same mistakes okay stop doing it with my training seriously if you go and ask my students there are i mean if you text in the whatsapp group who is who learn from me man students will keep on texting you i've learned i've learned i've learned understand go and text them are they doing the scripts using any youtube or not i'll never let you know till the end of the training i haven't shown even a single youtube video how to even i don't suggest even do you understand because they are not a proper videos seriously they are not there are that is not only the way to write a script there are hundreds of logics the thousands of ways to write uh, the script to achieve your outcome understand so this node is in working so you left you you feel that okay dynamo is not work is dynamo is a waste so let me do it manually try there is a concept called alternative node finding so these are the challenges a beginner face i am going to cover every single topic today if you leave in the middle you will never get better i don't share this um, recorded in the um, group if i say that the people will leave and i want your interaction seriously okay i'll i'll talk to managing not to share this okay so data types anatomy of node node finding node behaviors node states dot notation looks every concept if you go and youtube it you can't find even a single video it's my promise seriously go and uh, check lazing strategies in youtube no you you can't get it list management in dynamo so no you, you can't get it dot notation in dynamo no and not only that in this topics uh due to some privacy concerns i am not sharing the entire uh, uh, you know the real curriculum these are this is the old content like two two and a half years ago uh, you know uh, curse outline is this this is two and a half years old curse outline seriously my current outline is completely different and only my students can well know that understand okay so they can see that and i have shared a one in the whatsapp group as well so if you haven't uh, if you recently joined and you can't you don't have seen that uh, text me in the whatsapp so that i'll repost it again okay so uh, these these are the topics i'm going to cover and these are very small 
very, very less topics. So in the course outline that I've recently shared, it has even that one is not a finalized one. Where is that? Let me show you here. It's not in this. I'll share you that later in WhatsApp. Okay. So data types, anatomy of a node, node finding. See the people, uh, you know, uh, the beginner mistakes. This is the first, the problem where how to find a node. They found a node, but if it isn't working, there is another concept called alternative node finding. Alternative node. So you have to find an alternative node to the same node, which works exactly same element dot level. So when I connect an element, it should return a level. So even again, it's the same thing. When I connect an element to you, get me the level. What if I connect this to this? This is also not working. This is also not working. So I found I've done all the two methods, but still it's not getting. So Dynamo can't get the level information, not at all. So for this element, for this type of an element, it can't get a level. It doesn't mean it won't work. Okay. So try on another way. Like we have a parameter. Value by name. Now just read the properties of it. I'll just simply select that uh, element here and where I can see the level information. Where I can see the level information. Where I can see the level information. Schedule level. Schedule level, right? Clear. So schedule level. Let me write the same thing here. I have an element and I want you to get the schedule level value. When you are asking this, you're asking with the name and it is giving you the value. You're asking this. And it's giving you this always when you ask the circuit number, it will give you this. When you ask comments, it will give you that. So this is called parameter name and parameter value in R terms, but variable name and variable value in dynamo terms. Okay. So let me write schedule level. When I connect this to this, so now it's giving me the info. So I tried this, didn't work. Alternative node, tried this, even that didn't work. So don't give up, we have a solution. So if you are a beginner, you can automate 60, 60 to 70 percent of tasks with the help of the packages that I'm gonna share you today uh, on WhatsApp, okay? So these are, uh, I've mentioned that it's called bug free. So what do you mean by bug free in the sense? Uh, if you don't know which packages have to be installed and if you install the wrong one, uh, you know, your Dynamo and Rivet acts, start act weird. So don't try installing your own. I'll share you something. Okay. If you are, if you're using company missions, you have some restrictions to that. Clear that with your IT team, with your IT guy. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm learning this. So. I need a permission to copy this. Generally, you don't need a permission. You can simply copy paste to that location. Some of the packages won't copy. In that case, you have to take a permission there. Okay, cool. Now it's giving me, now I don't want this entire information. Rajesh, my information is actually uh, level two, that level two, I mean, if level two, level one, roof level RF or something. So level two, level one and level three. And some of the elements, we don't have a level as well. So how do I decide the level? This is generally happens. Why we, why these elements don't have a level? Can anyone guess if you are a coordinator or uh, someone like experienced modeler? May I know the reason why they don't have a level information there? For these elements, why there is no level information? Maybe telling host problem. They Sorry. are not view specific. They are not view specific. Host problem. Very good. Very good, Ravindra. Oh. Let me 253. See here the problem is at 253. 
here the problem is at 253 correct so i found there is a problem in this block i i found a problem in 253 so i want to know which element is it so i have to follow in the elements the 253 so it belongs to the same thing so four double line double one three when i click on this number so the mid one okay see they don't have a schedule level don't have a schedule level if i assign a schedule level here if it is let me check this one no they even this don't have what if i select these two nodes and i pick level one for an example no the elevation is at level nine so level two level three so they belongs to level three now so if i go and check 253 Okay, I'll just click and connect. Now let me see the 253 object. See the 253. It's a level three now. Did you see that? Did you see that? So 250, it's fixed now. So it means it's updating the data. Without knowing, without doing, I don't want to open a rivet at all, Rajesh. I want to fix every thing within the dynamo itself so is that possible yes 100 percent once you load the data into for example i load this 409 items i don't want to if i'm a perfect dynamo user if i'm an expert i don't want to you know open the rivet at all to fix the one how we fixed and not even knowing that which element is that no i i want to fix all this I want to fix all this. Do you understand? So I want to fix all this in, in, in just one click. How to do that? So how do I separate all these elements? How do I separate all these elements? This kind of learning you're going to learn in our training. Seriously, okay? So we'll see that later because we have to write a lot of conditions. Maybe um, if it is, if it, uh, if you are going more um, beyond than our examples, then I'll come to this in the end of the workshop. Okay. For now, keep it aside. No, but anyways, I like I need a level one, level two information or whatever. So I'll say that level dot name. So how did I get that? There is a hint in the block itself. In this block itself. I have an info. It's clearly saying I want the level two. So what is that? Let me show you level dot name. Okay. I'm just show, I'm just, I'll just show you a very basic example. So there is a bracket. So here I have an another bracket. Try to understand. Here I have an another bracket. So in this bracket, I have two different information. One is name. And second one is elevation. So there is a comma separated. So there is a comma separated. So if I have a comma and if I have another comma, you have an ad another additional data. So here I have a name information and I have an elevation information only. So then I have an open bracket and I have a closed bracket. Who is the parent of this? We generally call it as a parent and child. I'll explain that. So level is a parent. And name is a children. Level is a parent and elevation is a children. So level dot name. Level dot elevation. Let me check. See, these all are like tricks. These are tricks. You can't find anywhere on uh, YouTube at all. Seriously, if you've been doing R&D from months or years, go and you, you can't, I hope you, you can't find it anywhere. Okay, so when I connect this to this, see, it has separated. It has separated the name information. When I connect this to this, it's giving me the elevations information. Did you notice that? Notice that? So now what I have to do, now I have to add the string. 
I'll add a one more button here, like additional button. Now I want this string to be connected this to this and this entire data, this entire data to be added. With level two, I need a hyphen also, right? So I need a hyphen. I'll add a hyphen in, in front of this. Now level two hyphen LF hyphen one. Now my final result. Now if I want to change, no, I don't want to use a level two Rajesh. I want to make it L2. So there is an option replace. If there is a few, if there is a text found like level two, change it to L2. So we have to write a function for that. Now, over. If I go and find the elements here, I can find that see level two LF28. LF3, because it, it don't have a schedule level. Since it doesn't have any schedule level, it is, I mean, it's saying that LF308. See, this have a level two and it got out. Is it clear now? Guys, is this clear? So to do the same thing, generally, if you do that manually tilting has, not only now, I mean, in case if you want to do the similar tasks, if you have done something for electrical, you can use that for mechanical. You can share this to the mechanical people. You can share this to the plumbing people. You can share this to architecture structure. Anyone. Understand. Clear guys. I hope you clear what I've explained here. Is it clear to everyone? Is this clear to everyone? Okay, cool. Now, the today's workshop is especially with chat GPT as I stated uh, in the um, in in the group and the title of our workshop it's like with chat GPT. What is this chat GPT Rajesh? So whatever I have done here, this is this is asked by you. This task is asked by you. I haven't made it. Okay, I haven't planned anything. So, uh, you know, generally the workshops would happen like planned. Okay, and they, would, they would have a fix a script and they will, uh, they will explain the same thing. I'm not doing that. This task is asked by you. Okay, so now, um, I'll choose this chat GPT. Who is it? Let me look at This is a chat GPT. I hope most of you know this. Why? So I own another company like ALX. I forgot the password. Wow. change it here we go I must see this before now Sorry, two minutes. I'll just fix this. Come on. Because I want you to present them. Just a minute. Perfect. Thank God. Okay. So I have some, I've already asked something here. Uh, you don't know like, uh, uh, what's wrong? Let it load or else. 
let me open a new one. Okay, so uh, I hope you have seen uh, which I've shared on the WhatsApp group. So this is called a prompt. What do you mean by prompt actually? Okay, so I want to write a script. I want to write a dynamic script since I'm a beginner. So I've been looking for many YouTube videos, but I couldn't find some, I couldn't found something like similar task. No one have done it. So at least try to clone. So can you please explain me how to write a script in Dynamo? If you ask this, so it has that model, model in the sense AI model. And now you have to specify very clearly here. So what do you mean by prompt engineering generally? So how to structure prompts? Very important, okay? It's called prompt engineering, like question engineering. Prompt engineering is not nothing but question. And if you ask question clearly, it will give you the correct answer. So you, you just have to follow the same. Specify the scenario, what you have to do exactly. Assign a role in the instruction. If you want a Dynamo script, you have to tell that act as a Dynamo expert. No, you need a document uh, like some sort of a legal document. Act as a legal advocate or advisor or financial advisor. I want you to create a document. So what do you mean by act as? It has thousands of models. From that models, it's going to pick only the particular model. So it will not, uh, you know, let, let that uh the hard disks open they have thousands of hard disks okay so whenever you're saying act as a rivet dynamo expert it will directly open that into that hard disk into that particular drive and then it will give you then it will list you uh the real uh, you know answers okay so assign a role that's what i have done here act as a rivet dynamo developer act as a rivet dynamo developer can you please explain the below exercise? I don't know how to do something. Okay. And now copy paste your task question here. Like, you know, I want to name the lighting fixtures like so and so. Now, let me copy this. Let me copy this. And I'm telling that list me out all the notes. List me out all the notes used to create this dynamo graph. So first of all, say, uh, list me out all the notes which are really required. Then explain input notes and output notes and the function and logic. So this is a very important, a very, you know, powerful prompt. So I've shared it on the uh, WhatsApp group. Now let me act. So act as a repeater and I'm using chart GPT-4. So it won't work in 3.5. Please don't blame once you tried in your missions and if it is written in a wrong result, don't blame me. Okay. Because ChatGPT 3.5 is a old, old data. It contains old data. It doesn't have the updated data at all. Okay. So it needs for you, it needs the live data. Otherwise, you can't ensure all this stuff. So act as a bit Dynamo developer, explain the below exercise. Now, what is that exercise? What is that exercise? I have explain. tell that very clearly. You know what to do, but you don't know how to do that. Okay. I have 409 lighting fixtures, fixtures in my model from level one, comma, level two, comma, level three, level three. Okay. Now, I want you to add um, L1, L1, like let's say level one hyphen uh, lighting fixture LF hyphen zero one two level, let's say like on level wise. Um, I want you to assign a value LF to LF hyphen 409, 409 with the prefix of 
level one, level two, level information. Simple. Now this is a task. So I want I want this task to be done. So I don't know how to do that. So list me out all the nodes used to create this dynamo graph. Now let me hit enter. Robert, what happened to you? Come on. Yeah, it's working. It's on your No, no, it's working. Sometimes it won't. Okay. Generally, I don't know why. It, it's my bad. OK, now it's see. I mean, if you follow exactly the same categories node, the one we used. Here, got it. And all elements of category and what it is try to understand what it is exactly not only asking you, you should have that, you know, uh, that mindset to understand what it is trying to say. Otherwise, there is no use, even though if you have the, the perfect instructions for how to follow. But I mean, you know how to prepare uh, a recipe. I mean, you don't know how to prepare a recipe. But if you have a, you know, uh, a sheet which explains how to bake it, then what's wrong? And you you have all the ingredients with you, so you can make it. Now, categories input none. Don't connect anything for now. So output list of elements belong to the specific category. So pick the lighting fixtures. So I pick the lighting fixtures here. And function and logic, what it does exactly, what how it functions, and what is the logic behind it. Select elements of the lighting fixtures category from the entire bit model. Superb. Now all elements of category input. You have a category node, the lighting fixtures, all elements within the with the selected category. So retrieves all instances of lighting fixtures in the project. So I've connected this to this. Okay. Now element dot level, I used it. Element dot level. I used it. It didn't work. Then I can ask chat GPT, Mr. Chat GPT. I the element level element dot level isn't working. So is there any other alternative? Then it will tell that use element dot parameter value bin in and connect the schedule level parameter. And then it will extract that simple. OK, so string from object. Then I have to convert that into a string. Then using the string from object and then list dot group by key. Now it will be sorted based on the level information and then the listed count the one what we have done here we used here we used one double dot four not nine instead of this process so even you can follow this method or else you can follow this method as well. So to achieve the same output, we don't have only one way to follow uh, because you know um, it's coding. It's our um, our own. I mean, you can write your own style. If I give the same task to your Abid, he'll do, he'll do, he'll write it in another way. If I give the same task to Abhishek, he'll do it in another way. If I give it to Afrit, he'll do it in another way. So. There is no fixed way to achieve the same output. You guys understand? So if I follow, it will give you the same setup. Now see input string, the numbers total width or I mean 0, 0, 0001 to 0, 04 09 and functional and string dot insert C L F five and 0, 0, 001. So level free, uh, you know, prefixes and position and start number. String dot insert. If you want me to place all the stuff you know this string from object copy paste i have a node okay then i'll find list dot group by key i have a node so let's start sort by key after grouping sorting so we we have all this covered in the concept in our training, let's start count. 
So it's directly giving you, if you understand how to proceed further, the stroke cycle. So string dot pad left. This is to remove the numbers from the left. String dot insert. After removing it, I want to add um, the text next to it. And then finally, I have to set the parameter where value. So this is execution flow and final. So if I follow exactly all the strategies, my script is going to be ready. Guys are clear now? Are you clear? Hmm? So this is, I mean, but if you ask the same thing in chat GPT uh, 3.5, don't expect the same results seriously okay because it won't work it will work maybe it will give you the same outcome but the nodes which it will give you you can't find that in in uh, uh, in dynamo okay yes you have to purchase this um you have to purchase that you know i mean it's a 22000 per year 22000 per year Per year. So we have our own platform. It's our platform. So here you may confuse, like it may give you the different, different results, but this is our Bimera team GPT. So if you notice that these are already uh, the questions which asked before by the students, understand, asked by the students. If you have some time, you just come and sit and enjoy this, you know, uh, and, you know, do some R&D here itself. Clear? And here, I have specified the roles clearly. Act as a dynamo expert in a professional tone. No, I'm learning, Rajesh. In a educational tone. Instructional tutorial style. So, uh, in instructional and tutorial style. Yes, perfect. Can you please generate a dynamo script generate a dynamo script for the same i'll just copy the same question here and do this and do that you just ask a question here and you just copy the prompt now here is the prompt area and i when i paste this and hit enter Now, this is also exactly working as a chat GPT 4.0, not 3.0. So categories, all elements of category, element dot level, sort by key, group by key, and a list dot count, exactly the same result as chat GPT. Compared to the pricing, this is 20,000 per year, and this is 5,000 per year. Do you understand? Okay, so this is how exactly uh, this works. I know the people get confused even without asking all this. If you don't know how to ask this properly, but still our model will directly understand. Okay, this guy is a dynamo user and then he wants to write something here and then it will return the same result as like ChatGPT4. The only reason we build this because of a, a person cannot afford 20,000, 25,000 for using very rare if you have done something, a script, tell us, maybe in a year, maybe you'll write um, 100 or 200 scripts. To write 100, 200 scripts, why do you need, why do you have to invest 25,000? True, this is affordable. That is the reason like we have built this for everyone. And you don't need to even, you know, even invest on this. Like you, 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 you can, you know, just simply click on this. And there is one more script which is already written for someone. And someone asked it here, like how to, there is a guy, active person. So act as a dynamo expert, generate the bill exercise on educational code. How to export rivet schedule data into Excel. Now this is the processor to do that. You follow it, simple. You follow the instructions and do it. Okay, clear now. So this is an open A. We'll discuss this about later. Let me finish because since you are beginners, I don't want you to do the mistake. Let this workshop happen. 
or as structured. Shall I explain all this now? Shall I explain all this now? Where you're facing issues generally? Where a beginner faces an issues generally? Huh? Shall we? Overview has done already yesterday, Aman. Overview is already done. Uh, yesterday, people shouted on me um, because it's, it's completely overview. Understand? Okay. So, yesterday it was overview. In the end, like for 30 minutes, we have but just started a workshop. Okay. So today decided to explain uh, the use cases, how to use the demo effectively. And I don't want you to do the mistakes at all. Okay. I don't want you to blame Dynamo first of all. Okay. Because I know there are many guys who are saying that the Dynamo is uh, useless. Then I heard many. Okay. So no. Fine. So the first problem for every beginner, it is node finding. It's a node finding. Node finding. You don't know how to find a node generally. There are five different strategies. There are five different strategies. There are five different strategies. If you apply all these strategies, the node finding will be very easy. Okay, so that strategist like, so enter, sorry, tab, oh, oh. okay, dot strategy, space strategy, without space, get or set, prepositions, and mass finding. So these are the one actually. These are going to explain in the training, not in the workshop. Okay. So if I explain all this, you you will never stop finding a node. Seriously. Okay. You will easily find it. And not only that, there are few more which relate to it. It's called um, not next to it mass finding. What what was that? Parent and child. Parent and child and dot notation. Dot notation. Why I'm explaining you all this? At least you do some research by yourself. That is the reason I'm I'm revealing all this, you know, um, the tips here. Okay. So what do you mean by dot method? What do you mean by dot method to find a node? Go and YouTube it, Google it. I'll I'll challenge you won't find anything because I have total more than 17 years of experience on this coding. Since I'm learning my diploma, I'm pursuing my diploma. I started, you know, playing with the code and I've done many coding languages. So just for fun, I have learned different, different languages. Okay. I don't have any personal experience. I, I, I learned Ruby Rails, but I haven't worked on it before. But some of the concepts are really interesting in it. So compared to a Python tu Python tutor, the Ruby Rails tutor explained the same concept more effectively. So when I started, okay, so these are not only the way to learn. So like spending like 10,000, 15,000 a month. So it doesn't, you know, doesn't uh, burden for me. That time I was not married. Now spending something is very tough. Okay, like wife, air expenses, necklaces, so many. Okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, so uh, spend something, you know, keep something for you for your learning. It really uh, makes you better in your know, financial and career growth as well. Okay, good. First of all, designation mainly. Okay, these node finding strategies will help you a lot. You will never get stuck. Now, Rajesh, I'm now after finishing this exam, I mean, like finishing this uh, examples and this concept. Now the challenge is, how do I understand and how do I connect the inputs to it? Now, let's say I want to create a parameters. Create a 
project parameter now i finally found a node seriously i have my manager is killing me to keep on adding me parameters again and again and again with different different attributes i don't want to do it or else i'm a manager or else i'm a coordinator i'm the one who is handling uh, you know for every project i, I want to create a parameters and they are same parameters every project the same parameters are you feeling bored to do the same thing or else if the client have a different requirements for example if i'm just using the same parameters i can you transfer or something but here for every project it's keep on changing then i have a different excel and how do i load the number of parameters at the same time i found a node parameter dot create a project parameter okay how do i understand this no i i didn't understand guys do you understand anything here you understanding anything here inputs you know this will create a parameter create a project parameter in your model but do you know how to correct but can you understand what how it does what it does and what it has to be connected what should be connected to the parameter name what it should be connected to the group name what i have to connect to the spec type what i have to connect to the group type what it is instance what should i connect to the instance what should i connect to the category list huh so no it's not expecting any elements in here it is not expecting an, any elements here correct so wrong answer so what it is expecting this is a second challenge if you understand what the node is really expecting what the node is really expecting you are you are in the second step finding a node let we have how many steps here to become an expert one sorry 1 okay this is just a one step if you understand this you can simply jump three steps forward understanding the node inputs it's not that easy it completely depends upon the data type data type okay what is this data type rajesh when i hover the cursor on this it is showing you that in the next line in the second line string string is a data type when i hover the cursor on this string is a data type spec type is a data type group type is a data type bool is a data type category is a data type so it is telling you what data type it is doesn't mean it works for with all the nodes let me pick some randomly surface data type double in the second line data type int is a data type let me on right one let me check with this what is this expecting hover the cursor no data type it's saying where is so this in these cases it's very tough list spring null indices of i'll pick some randomly no data type no data type seriously what do you do that in that case do you stop writing the script out there no no need if you if you understand this data types concept you are three steps forward compared to the previous one like node finding just one step but data types three steps you are going to three steps forward in our training the first three days is the data types only it's a very interesting concept and after this data type concept you are going to write your first script very very confidently trust me because this is the heart of the entire entire training it's a hack concept if you are if you don't understand this you are not like seriously you are not like you are just like a toy understand okay you can't understand anything you no need to even attend the fourth session as well if you don't understand this that important session 
is the vector type. Okay. Now, the next one, I understood uh, the data types, Rajesh. What do you mean by anatomy of node? If you connect all the nodes properly, I mean, it is expecting parameter name. So I, I connected a name. I connected the group name. I connected the spec type properly. I connected the group name. But still, it won't, I mean, it won't create a parameter. Why? Now you, now you are in confusion again. So why it is like that? Why it's like that? Why it is like that? No, it is expecting only perfect. So it has instructed in the first two, like two concepts, like as Rajesh explained, I have connected everything. Why it isn't working? There are few things you have to understand. Let me show you what are the areas you have to understand. It's a first one. After dot, second one. Third one. When you hover the cursor on this, it's showing me two. Four and five. Brackets. Six. So we, we generally don't follow keep list structure. Leave it. So. Six, the bracket. So here I have a auto. So I have an option and I have few stops. So one, I mean like a freeze. I like review freeze. Two options. Lacing. Three more options. So total five options here. Five options here. Five different options here. And this is another option like one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six plus five, eleven. Eleven and this is a twelve. And this is a 13. That's it. You have to understand 13 different areas. And not only that, what about this? 13, let's the same thing repeated. If you know how to understand for one, you apply the same strategies. That is the reason I didn't count. If you count it, then like 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Because it's the same terminology. 20. No, let's consider I don't want, I don't want to count all this. So there are 15 different areas. Okay, not only that. This will return different set of values. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Keep on going. So you have to understand the data from this entire block in different, different areas. If you know, if you don't know how to connect it properly, no, it won't work. If you don't know how to handle this area, it won't, it won't create a parameter. If you won't know how to play with this, it will not create a, pro, it will create a parameter, but it won't create. I mean, if you want to create hundred parameters, it will create only one. It will not create the rest of the 99. Sometimes what happened out of the list, you want to create only 10 parameters the first 10 parameters, but it will create 100 parameters. So there is no control on the Excel line. There is no control on the data. So this is how it happens generally. Understand, Dynamo is not that easy to play with. At the same time, it is not even tough. You should have a right guy to teach where the problem is. If you understand clearly, I haven't, I'm not explaining any scripts. I'm teaching you how to understand that. So if you know how to fix that, you have a problem here. If you know how to fix it by your own, you will never go to go and ask anyone else. Someone will come and ask you, what is the problem, Abhishek? What is the problem, Ankit? Do you understand? This is okay. So what else? You understand all the areas, all the 15 different areas. So here we have a 15 areas. As well. Actually, we have more. You're going to learn more than that. For now, only 15. Node behaviors. What do you mean by behavior? What do you mean by behavior? I think do we have that here? No.
Okay, for now. Okay, so try to understand this. Point out by coordinates, point out by coordinates, point out by coordinates, point out by coordinates. All of them are like pointed by coordinates only. Correct? Right? All of all the nodes are pointed out by coordinates only. But why they are in different different colors? Why they are in different different colors? And it listed in the below clearly. So when you connect, it is expecting the X is expecting something to be connected. Y is expecting something to be connected. Z is also expecting something to be connected. So if you haven't connected anything, it won't return. That's a problem. You have connected something which is not expecting. That is expect. I mean, your kids are expecting a chocolate, but you you have you know you know drop this like uh, ice cream something no they're not happy they act weird seriously if you are expecting something to be got and you i mean expecting something to be connected but you have connected something else then it will tell you clearly it will act like this idiot i'm expecting this so why did you connect me that it's clearly tell you that warning errors like some set of nodes won't work at all even though you have connected the right data, no, it won't work. So these are called behaviors and states. You understand? Okay. So you have to understand that how the node is going to behave, how to make it behave, you know, perfectly. Node behaviors. It's, it's not simple to understand. Okay. But with practice for like one or two days, you are going to be expected. In this node behaves concept as well. Okay. Both states, both are same. Okay. This is something else can be explained only in the training because I don't have a slide. I don't know why, it, how it missed. We have something else. Okay. So to present. So node states. Dot notation. This is purely uh, you know, a code for a coder. Uh, it's a coding technology. In coding terminology, we'll call it as a dot notation. So in the same dot notation, parent and child, grandparent dot parent dot child. So grand grandparent and grandparent and parent and child. So th they were many. Let me show you some example. Let me show you some example. I have um Point of same by coordinates. Pointed by coordinates. I have another point. So I'd like to move this point somewhere here. So X and Z values. I have another point. Let me connect this to this. Oh, where is that? 30? Somewhere. Not good. Big ones. And I connect this. I connect this. And I connect this. Now I have a curve. Now I have a curve. Control C, Control B. I'll explain this later. Right click and notify. Now, do you see this? The dots? Do you see the dots? Autodesk dot point dot by coordinates. Autodesk dot point dot by coordinates. Autodesk dot point dot by coordinates. And nerdsco dot by, by points. You see that? So why these points here? What do you mean by point there actually? It is like a path where we, I mean, generally, you know, we are finding something, let's say, um, let's say this is a, um, 
local. Let's say this is the local, and you're asking your, you know, you're asking your like, where did you put the local? So she's saying that you just enter into our flat number something 511, and then you know, I mean, just visit this apartment and then flat number 511 and in that living room and then put, you know, enter. These are the inputs. So when you enter 000, the lock, I mean, you find a locker here. Lock here. And these are the inputs like 000. Then the locker will be opened. Do you understand? So this is just like a path. Folder path. Exactly. Okay, it's just like a folder path. For example, if you are asking, um, you are a manager, you are asking, um, I mean, a guy who is on leave. So you are asking him like, where is, where is the the file you you worked with yesterday? So go to D drive. You're saying that go to D drive in the in the projects folder. In the projects folder, if you are looking for architecture, so architecture. And no, no, project name, project name dot. And in that you have a multiple disciplines, like go to the architecture. And then if it is like 0012005, visit that. And then in that folder, you will find a model file, I mean, final file dot RVD. So, Eliminate the extension. So this is the path actually. So this is the path we generally uh, use. Understand? Or else if you still don't understand, let me show you an example clearly. Dot notation is very important. It, it is a coding terminology. Okay. If you understand the coding terminology, really, you know, that's not a Python or a C sharp or something. And it is very easy. Between Dynamo, I mean, after Dynamo, you have to learn Python. But between Dynamo and Python, there is an another language. It's called design scripting, and this is the one. And this is the design scripting. It's not Python, or it's not C or any other language. It's design scripting. Okay, cool. Let me show you something. I'll go with the random one, R club, core, date times, from Unix time. Okay, fine. Yeah, cool. So this is a zero touch node. So where did I get it exactly? So from Unix time. So I found a node from date times folder. And date times is in core folder. And core is in the RKLA folder. Are you clear now? Guys, are you clear here? Guys, are you clear? Everyone? Everyone clear? Okay. So RKLA folder in the core folder, in the date times folder. So there is no folders. It's a it's a final file actually. So this is the final file. Correct. Now let me write the same thing in a code block. Let me write the same thing in the code block. Arkila without any typo error. If it is Arkila, small a, you should write in a small a only, not a capital A. Arkila, put a dot next to it, next to it, and then capital C core dot and date times capital T put a dot next to it now it is showing me one two three four five six seven nodes one two three four five six seven options we see that now when I pick this perfect done now I haven't connected anything to this even I haven't connected anything to this so here I'll be connecting a mobile number 9160567890. My mobile number, WhatsApp me. I mean, if you want to join this funny program. When I connect this to this, when I connect this to this, it's saying April 15, 2260. So 211. It's converting a number into a date and time. Let me, how can I connect this? Control C, Control V. When I'm trying to connect, it, it don't have any input here. So, I will copy this in a bracket. It's called inputs. I've told you, see, this is an input. So inputs must written in the these brackets. I just entered. Just copied. It's the same, the same output. Got this, guys? 
Got it? It's the same output, right? How it works? So the node is equal to a code now. If you know, if you find, if you know, like how to write a, uh, you know, how to use a node, you can easily write a code. Understand? Okay. So here, that process actually it's called dot notation. Dot. Where is this from Unix time coming? From date times. Where is the date times is coming from? Core. So where is the code coming from? Archilab. Simple. Is it clear now? Is this clear? So that's what the dot notation concept is. Dot notation concept. And uh, as I told you, this is a children and this is a parent. Child, parent. This is the child and this is the parent. This is the child and this is the parent. So Archilab is parent for the core. Core is the parent for datums. Datums is the parent for from Unix time. Simple. From Unix time is the parent of this number. Okay. Now, pair, grand, I mean, child, parent, grandparent, and grandparent. Parent. That is the reason I mentioned here like parent and child, grandparent, and grandparent. Clear, guys? Is it clear? Okay. Now, what else? You know, uh, the list management. Forget about the custom note for the timing. List management. So, once you started playing, you know, the dot notation, you know, you find the general problem is no finding a node is the first problem. And once you find a node, understanding, understanding how it works, how to connect the inputs and everything. Okay. And how, I mean, if it is, it, it's working, but it is not working as expected, then anatomy of it. No, it's acting really weird. Then behaviors. Behaviors. If you understand all this stuff, you are going to be a master in no time like that. And leave it to me completely. Okay, this is a workshop, but still a uh, few people requested for a demo. Uh, for that reason, I'm taking this workshop. Like what are the things going to be covered? And people ask me, Rajesh, uh, the Navisworks clash coordination script will be covered in this. No, can I create a rebar reinforcement in this? So can I create no? I'm not going to explain a single script which is available on YouTube because I'm, I mean, I'm not only wasting your time, not only your time. There are 30 students, 30 students into two hours. So I'm wasting your productive hours. I will never do that. I'm not doing it from past four years, which is not available on YouTube, which you can't find on any LinkedIn learning, Udemy or blah, blah, blah different platforms. You will not find such an information, such a content in like that I'm that I'm gonna teach you in my training. Ultimate because you know ours is a uh, outsourcing company. We outsource the people. The fee that you are paying is nothing. Like you know the fees is twenty five thousand. Okay. So Four years before the same training, it's 15 hours. That time the course was 25,000 only. Now that is 60 hours. That is 60 hours. Still the course is 25,000 only. Why? I can finish four batches and leave you. But now the market is more interesting and they're more going forward. We can't use the same strategies because I you know I have to explain every single thing. If there is a problem happening in somewhere, you should fix it. Someone should call you directly. Someone should call my student. Uh, Mr. Ashant, here is a problem. Can you please come and fix it? And you should be able to fix not only your problems, the entire your team problems. That's how I'll train you. Trust me. Okay. If you still not believe, go and read my reviews will come to know okay so behaviors okay and not only all this and uh, states 
with the same list management. You are not playing with a single object or like 10 or 15 objects. You are going to play with thousands of items at the same time or hundreds of items at the same time. List management is really important. It's very hard to find, but we generally don't use this library because this is a very, very outdated library. Control F. Bimera, find your node. So here, this is the library you are going to use it. What is the difference, Rajesh? Is it? Let me show you. If I want to mm, play with a work set, I'll type work set here. No, I, I want to play with a view now. I want to play with a view. So one, two, three, four, five, six, it's going to show you only 20, maximum 20. Let me type the view here. There are how there are hundreds of nodes which you can directly play with the views. As instructed before, node to to find a node, you have to apply all these strategies. If you are not our student, you have to follow all this. But if you are my student, you are following this because this. Uh, extension will be shared with my students. So the node finding will be more easy. And to apply this node finding strategies, it will take around like um, one or two minutes to find the exact node. But here in seconds, you will find it. So we are automating the automation tool again. So we are simplifying our students' work. So they're going to use it on their companies and they got no restrictions. They can simply copy and copy paste and it works without any restrictions. Understand? Okay. So have you it's going to create a 3D view as you know, do you want to play with a set face like a views? So do you have a views and you want me to set the crop box? You if you have a views, do you want me to create a section box of for every view? Just a minute. Okay, so views primary. What do you mean by phase is like 3D view collector? It's gonna pick, give you all the 3D views listed in your, like you know, in model element. I mean, sorry, in your Revit model, exonometric views. So these are the 3D views were listed in. No, I want to create more views. 3D view. So mention the view name. Then it will create a 3D view for you. I want. Like I want to know how many clashes are there in my model with the particular uh, with this element and with these elements. Then wherever we have a clashes, I want to find. Yeah, no, I want to create a 3D view for every single clash. Like how the navis works without using navis works. Can I create a number of views with the same color strategies in Revit? Yes, you can do that. So stop using copying the element ID from the Navis works Excel and paste it in the rivet. You're not a kid to do all this. It's your, okay. You have a 10 years of experience still doing the same thing. Stop doing it. Okay. Be advanced. So let the dynamo do it for you. It will copy all the elements and it will, it will. Do you see that in yesterday's example, I marked some. See this. You can do like this. Color those elements. Simple and figure it out. And if you are a coordinator, you just create a view and share it to your team. So there is a view creator. So I want you to fix all this. So they will not waste the time finding where there's a. So they'll keep on wasting the time here itself. They miss the real areas. If you mark that and share it to your modelers, so they'll they'll directly work on this. Got it. Okay. So my, uh, you know, when I used to work for my previous companies and now in my company, I'll go and talk to my, uh, the team and, uh, you know, from electrical team. So if I'm done with the electrical stuff, I'll go and sit with my mechanical team with the same project members. And then 
Do you want me to fix this? Do you want me to fix this? Do you want me to create something or uh, automation script for you? So teach me the design uh, principle, like how it has to be. I used, I mean, I was completely um, blank at that when I was learning this Dynamo, when I'm implementing this Dynamo in the design concept. After, you know, playing with this Dynamo, I started learning the design concept and then implemented the design with automation. That's a perfect model creation, seriously. Okay, so you can, if you don't know what you exactly create, ask ChatGPT. Ask ChatGPT. Okay, let's see. Uh, act as a Revit Dynamo expert. Can you list? I'm a beginner. I'm a Revit. I'm a beginner in beginner in Revit Dynamo. Can you please? list out some basic tasks which can help me writing the stretch so electrical okay now it will list out some tasks for you Automatic circuit numbering, placing lighting fixtures automatically. I've shown you yesterday. See, you can do all this, updating the panel schedules, generating wire length calculations, check for electrical code compliance, okay, create conduit runs, extracting electrical equipment data to Excel. So like uh, panel schedules, validating the device connectivity, okay, color coding elements based on the parameters. So if there are in wrong parameters, how do I? Okay, all this can be done. So you've done all this. I'll ask, can you please? I'll ask this. Can you please explain? Or else why? Let me go with. Can you please explain? The first one. Can you please explain the first one? List me out all the notes required. And give me the logic. Explain me the logic. Babo, go. Explain me the logic. Okay. Behind every function. Hit enter. The automatic circuit numbering dynamo script, power of the script. Then it will give you the categories, function, what it is exactly being done, and logic it will explain. All elements of category, function, logic, element, or give parameter value, set parameter by value. First, it is asking to retrieve the parameter value from the rivet element, and then what is the logic, why you are doing it? Because it's really important to understand um, what you're what you going to do, what you're doing with that particular script. This is very important. So you you must ask what is the logic behind it. Sometimes what happens, you know, uh, you have a task from your manager, but you don't know how to do that. At that point of time, it will give you, and you can ask, uh, I have this, you know, task to be done. Can you automate this? Can we automate uh, the task, this task using the Dynamo? Then it will tell you, yes, you can do it. If not, no, you can't do it. With the help of Python, if you want me to write a code, I'll write it for you. It will tell that like a human exactly. Okay. The only thing is you should know like what to ask exactly. Clear? Clear? That's clear. So if you ask it how it works together, like if you ask for the second one, you ask it for the second one, it will write it for you. Guys, are you clear? So uh writing dynamo scripts is not a is is not a uh, you know the tougher it's not a toughest part now it's very very simple you should know how to write it i mean you should know how to ask the chat gpt and write it go ahead flow whether you write it or not but try to understand okay now don't follow youtube videos and confuse and stop doing that uh, 
somehow seriously it's a nonsense stuff if you understand the concept concept clearly and then watch a video then you will come to know because you need a logic you need a logic you need a set of notes to do that in that case you can take the help of watching youtube videos but watching from the start without knowing the concept it is an idiotic action seriously stop doing it okay first do some research on the you know you you have this excel i mean you have this in the whatsapp group okay go and find out this so anyways we are going to leave in 5 minutes okay so list management when you are playing with the multiple items list management nodes are really really helpful they are not like one or two they are not they are not like one okay you have list you have so many see hundreds of if you want to play with the categories dot list all it's going to give you all the list of the categories at the same time so list dot chop by lens if you want to chop some sort of items into for example you are an electrical guy uh, you need every eight eight, eight lights into one chop uh, into one circuit so how do you do that so using chop by lens so when you connect for example i'll connect and if i say eight lights in one circuit what happen is that the same from amp percent this is not the one we have a list dot chop so one node isn't working you no need to give up actually so when you connect this new connect this see now i have 17 items so some eight items in one list eight items in another list so finally one left so that will be in a different circuit now this is a 3d views actually so i just shown you some example okay so list management are really really important at the same time element management when you type element put a dot next to it you will come to know how many nodes you can play with an elements all of them are like playing with an elements good right so you can find very simple all elements of all elements of see all elements of class all elements at particular level so it will give when you connect a level information to it it will bring you all the i'll just bring level 1 when i connect this to this it going to list there are 3747 items are there in level 1 see how fast it is now i have to filter the ducts or lights or whatever it is do you understand so all elements of particular system all elements in active view if you are in any view i want to get uh, you know items in that particular view itself if i keep on changing the view the list going to be updated all elements of particular type all elements of category all elements of particular family so when i connect a family it going to connect all the elements when i connect you the work set it will going to give you all the elements if i connect you the family type it going to give you all the elements so there are plenty of nodes which you don't try to even a single line of a code got it guys there are ready made nodes and you are not paying anything for it they are completely free use it so why do you have to learn python why you have to wait till learn python okay you started learning python and uh, if you don't understand something you will leave there and you leave this dynamo as well python is required once you are expert very expert you i mean it's not like you know you should be very very confident in dynamo then only the python comes understand okay so forget about the python it's not at all required if anybody told you that kick him away seriously don't listen to him okay clear so element management list management leasing strategies this guy is a real villain in an entire training because it's not that easy to handle him understand so filtering so if i have a thousand elements how to filter only the particular that elements itself filtering concept filtering concept okay i want to filter some like for example i have let's say i have a ducts i want to filter only the ducts out of 
the 3747 items. How? I will convert this into the string management. String. From object. I will create this element to objects now. Now these are the zones. Now I, I would like to search. It's called string management. See, we have three very important areas, string management, list management, element management. That's it. OK, so. String. So when I connect duct here, so we have a duct here. No. Let me show you. We have a duct. OK, so I simply type a duct. Now, wherever there is a duct, it shows me true values. So where I am having the, the first duct, I think 61. 61, it's a true. Perfect. So if I filter all the true values out using filter. So to filter, we don't have a hundreds of nodes. We have only two set of nodes. Seriously, we have only two to filter. We have only two nodes to sort. We have only two nodes to group. If you know what, what are the nodes, what are the exact nodes? You can filter any element. I mean, you can filter the entire list, what you exactly needed. You can simply sort any sort of data, any elements with using that two nodes. Seriously, you don't have a, I mean, like list, like string, like element. We don't have a number of nodes for filtering, sorting and grouping. This is the biggest problem. You know, you feel that if I do something, it gonna affect the entire model. No, filter it. Filter the elements exactly what you need and play with it. Simple. Now, when I connect the booleans to this, when I connect the elements to this, cool. In the end list, all the ducks in one list now. So let me see how many ducks are there. And there are 252 plus zero, 253. Got it? So all the 253 ducks are out. So in the out list, you can't see even a single duct. You can't see a single duct in this. Same time, if I would like to change this duct to 14 kilowatt, no, let's go with. Oh, 45 degree. 45 degree. See all the 45 degrees of like. Uh, you know, what do you say that? Connect connectors are in one list now. So simple. Got it. So that's how the filtering and sorting and grouping. It's very, very simple concept and very, very effective in the entire training. Very effective in the entire training. And then that is very, very simple to understand too. Custom node. You can create your own custom nodes like this. You can create your own like this. You can create your own like this. If you go for any interview, Take a, uh, you know, just a snapshot of this, uh, print it on a paper and, you know, list out like some 100 to 100 uh, custom nodes and go to your interview, go and without asking a single question, you're going to hire with the best package ever. Seriously. And you don't, you, you, you didn't create these custom nodes again. You used a, I mean, like chat GPT to create a script for you. Create a basic, basic stitch and then combine it. It's gonna be a big script. Understand? Okay. So design scripting. So before you learn Python, this is a this is a three days concept in our training. Three days concept in entire training. So this is here. You can decide whether you can go with the Python or not. Trust me. Uh, Every student who decided to join for level one, after finishing this, everybody will confirm their, you know, uh, you know, uh, their enrollment for the level two, like Revit API. That's cool it is. If you understand the design scripting, you can play with the Python like a kid. You can take it out each and every single concept. Understand? Okay. Finally, the chat GPT. We are not using chat GPT in our training platform because we have our own and it gives the better result than the chat GPT. You won't believe that because there's only chat GPT, but we have used Palm 2 and uh, 
all these AI models, like ask uh, ask code is a one. Where is that? This is not the one. Mm, see, these are the coding platforms we have. I mean, if you uh, if you ask something to be written in Python uh, in Revit Python, I will write it for you. Okay, so I thought that was opened here. Anyways, we don't have time. So anyone have any questions? We are done with the workshop. Okay, I hope I didn't make you bored. Is it? Are you sleeping? Anyone? No, right? Don't don't say don't say I'm sleeping. No, please. Okay. Okay. Good. So. Let me know the because I have taken so far like 55 batches uh, officially, like unofficial in the sense before Bimera. Okay, I have taken, I have considered many before I start my, I mean, um, I suddenly lost a job and uh, then I took a decision to take, to start a company. I tried with few, few people. Uh, I, I haven't counted that actually. Okay. So this is my officially 56 batch and in every batch we have 30 students and you everyone every single one um will be going more expertise and let me show you my why should i lie to you if you type bimera reviews and the support will be there yeah of course it's my first business socially Okay, but don't ask me for any revit jobs. We are pure. We we purely send, uh, you know, uh, oh one one ninety nine, one one more, one more to two hundred. I generally don't request for the feedback. But why why you so slow today, buddy? Don't embarrass me. Yes. Come on. Yo, yo. I'll, I'll, I'll treat you like my, seriously, like a brother. I'll, I'll shout on you as well in the training. But but not seriously, not with a serious tone, like a friendly tone, okay? With a motivational tone. I'll say that, okay? So we, I know the importance of automation in coming one, two years, okay? So don't lose that at any cost. So start learning at least yourself. Okay. So stop listening to any other whatever, what are the others are saying? Okay. Start learning dynamic. Okay. And 56 batch is going to start in a week. We are expecting it's gonna be from the first of this August, but there will be a short delay, maybe third or fourth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yo, please, I have to show my reviews, am I? Uh -huh. I don't know. Sorry. Let me, yeah, see, news. So this has uh, Khaled and Sari, like, these all are like last batch. I mean, the uh, the previous batch. A day ago, a day ago, a day ago. A day ago, a day ago, a month ago. And this is like last, uh, the previous batch, 54th batch. So read the reviews, we'll come to know and the way I teach. You'll, you'll really um, feel admire with, you know, my skills and my teaching skills. Since, you know, I'm very patient. I can't handle my wife, but, you know, I'm, I'm very good at this thing. Okay, listening to your things. Okay, clear. Okay, so if you are not at married, please come and join because once you marry, you can't learn this course at all. Okay, I'm kidding again. Okay, so how many of you are interested? Text me on WhatsApp. Okay, so I'll enroll your name because um, from next batches, the course fee is going to be 35k. A uh, few guys have already enrolled in the last batch, I mean, in the last month, uh, but we we didn't allow him we didn't allow them to join the training because we have already filled with 30 so 10 15 seats are already blocked so i think we have a 15 seats more do you assist with Joe? yes of course Dil. 
I don't know your name. Okay, of course, because it's our core business. That is the first vertical. So that is the reason we are increasing the hours. So if you come and if you come and text me after a year, the six years can be seven three hours or something else. Okay, clear? Fine then. Anyone have any other questions? Please let me see. Please tell me the course finding and date and fee. Sure, Omka. Text me on WhatsApp. Uh, fine, with the YouTube. Shant, but the fee details I have already explained. It's twenty five thousand for level one. We don't cover um, uh, Python in it. So Python, Iron Python, Ruby API, entered, I mean Ruby API with uh, uh, what do you say that Python like uh, an introduction to C sharp will be covered in the level two. So first you have to understand the Dynamo stuff. Okay, then the level two. Okay, so far it's it's twenty five thousand, and you can pay in installments. Don't go at one shot. Pay in installments, so it won't be affordable. I mean, if you have a credit card, pay through it and convert that into the EMS six CMS or something. So it will not be a burden for you at any cost. Clear, 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 everyone. It's sixty hours, uh, Mr. Dill, but I'm not sure. Uh, it we can't finish the the training in sixty hours. It may extend. It depends upon. Uh, the candidates. If you keep on asking questions and not letting me explain me the topic, so that day no session. Keep let continue sessions only, continuous examples only, till you understand the concept. I don't leave you at at any cost. Don't ask me for the what do you mean by freshers? Are you a rivet fresher or freshers in automation? Pratik. Pratik, are you a are you fresher in revision, or you are asking about an automation? Okay. Anyways, if you are a fresher in revision, no, this is not for you, because automation can happen only. Automation you can automate only if you know how to handle it manually. If you don't know the manual process, you can't automate something, right? Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So, what is the job title for the beginners? Dynamo experts, or uh, BIM automation expert, or Revit API expert. There are many implementation experts. Uh, knowledge. Ma Sorry, what is that? Knowledge. My student recently got that. Knowledge. Subject matter expert. There are many. Uh, there are many in it. Okay. But when it comes to this, I do suggest anyone. I mean, if you got selected. I generally, you know, encourage my students not to focus on the, uh, that fee part. Focus on the designation. Work for the designation. The designation brings, a more, you know, value in the industry. If you are a modeler, you can handle the Dynamo stuff, but still you got a modeler designation. Then they'll they'll treat you array array. This is what. But if you are in a good designation, a BIM modeler can't talk to you as a, a modeler. Do you understand? So work for it. Seriously, don't work for like even though you are earning like seventy thousand, one lakh, one two lakhs per month, still you don't have the value in it. Understand? Work for the designation. Clear? So Dynamo course help me in getting not exactly the. Uh, uh, not the dynamo. This is like your. This is an like an upskilling part, Roshni. Okay. Uh, like you know, if you have learned Navi's work, that is an additional tool. So you can't find the jobs on the Navi's works. Am I right? That is an additional. That is an additional skill. But dynamo is not like that. So with the dynamo, with a Navi's work, you can you can simplify some sort of a stuff. Not the entire. But the dynamo is, you know, completely playing with a revit. Earlier the dynamo is just like an add-in, but now it is a tool. It can play with, it can play with like revit like anything. Do you understand? Okay. Even the dynamo also have some sort of limitations, as told you yesterday. Okay. So, uh, not the better jobs, the better post. I mean, the better position. And the better pay as well. Okay. 
some of the companies who are actually looking for if you, i mean they'll offer you the coordinator job only but if you are if you have the dynamo then th that's their first priority let's wme and jacobs and uh, there are a few more companies like uh, uh, wsp atkins icon there are many many companies they are looking for i mean if you go and find the job titles it must be there dynamo preferred Encircle Tech, yeah, the, it's purely, it's an automation company. Encircle Tech, they have a big team. There's a lack of MEP knowledge restricts the chances of getting automation. No, not versioning, nothing seriously. You can happily learn this automation. If you if you are six months Revit professional, you can happily learn this. Clear? Good. Any other questions? Please come on. 17 years of experience. In Revit Arc now, how can, oh, now this is really, a, a, you know, there are some sort of, uh, you know, hypothetical questions. So this is one of it. 17 years of experience, I think you are earning better than, you're, you're already earning better than, I mean, in the industry. If you add this, I, I think it will be a penis for you. Seriously, okay stay there but implement if you are in a manager position if you are a manager position and uh, you know how you will be knowing how to handle a team with the help of this thing okay um, it will be an added additional skill for you so who needs a dynamo actually who is having like two years of experience and wants to earn the six years or seven years of experience candidates after the damn for those this will really help. Yeah. So one, how many days? 30 days. Does it include Saturday and Sunday? No, Saturday and Sunday. It's for your practice. In which time we will have a class after your office hours, 8.30 to 10.30. Daily two hours, a Chinese movie. Okay. If you don't, if you understand, then it's a, okay. If not, it looks like Chinese movie. Ended. But trust me, I'll make it happen in your, Thing as well. you'll easily understand even i'm also bad in it, bad at english okay i hope you already know this better. okay you can easily understand my things i have 7.3 years of experience if i know dynamo how much you will get better than like uh you can expect 40 plus um 40 plus i mean not lakhs okay 40 person hike and talking about okay you will not get a general hike like or this in the side. Okay. <clears throat> Good. You will get better, Akash. Now you have a great chances now. Okay. If you started learning, now you are you, you are one year experience. So if you started implementing the automation in your projects, so in three, I mean in, in the second year or third year, you will you will be able to get the better package, the same package as a 10 years guy. What is it really expecting? Seriously, I'm not joking. Go and talk to any, go and, uh, where is this? Let me open LinkedIn. Let me open LinkedIn and type BIM automation or Dynamo Experts. What happened to you? BIM developer, go and find these guys, go and talk to them. I mean, what is your experience and, um, okay, what is your experience and what you're earning now? What you're earning now? We'll come to know in, in their words itself, aim to become BIM developer. Oh, nice status, BIM automation, CAD customization developer, VTP developer. Connect these people and check with them. So send them, send a random, like, you know, 50 connections. If two or three people have texted you, you know, um, that's, you will come to know what the, what the real package is. Why asking me? So you, you can't even believe my words because for, it looks like a, for an admission, I'm saying all this. If you talk to them directly, you'll come to know. You'll realize it. Okay. 
Time to take off. Thanks for the wonderful workshop. Look, sure, Shamala. In the workshop, you are present. Can we pick samples? Bring them in. Ah, not see for to teach the concept. I need an exam. I mean, I need a element. It could be a structural element. It could be architectural element. It could be a MEP element. So no, no partiality in teaching only for MEP. If you are an architectural, if if you ask me to provide some sort of an examples. Using walls or some stuff, I'll use an architecture example. Clear? It's a straight, very clear. So, what is what if our shift timings from two to eleven recorded a breath? No other option because from past um, four years, it is the same timing we are, we are using eight thirty to ten thirty because I'll be available and teaching is my passion. I'm not doing it for. Uh, sake of money or something, uh, you know. I'm I'm not even don't uh, charge it. I don't take anything from this trainings. I'm reinvesting on different different areas like investing on this kind of uh, platforms. Seriously, okay, cool. Anyways, that's my personal. So, if what all softwares we need to have installed for this person? You don't install anything. You have Revit. Come and set. Simple. Rest everything I'm going to share you, including the packages, add-ins, everything I'm going to share you. Simple. Clear, Roshni? Okay. Cool. Any other questions? Only is it necessary to learn Python or Revit? Are Baba, please stop asking all this. Oh, after learning Dynamo? Yes, actually. Seriously, yes. That is real. No, don't prefer 2018. Never, okay. If you are twenty, I mean at least twenty twenty, the the highest version in your mission, okay. Cool. Ah oh, yes, it's okay, but don't say anyone, okay, because Autodesk has um, made many restrictions, okay. So don't say that you are using Chrome for student. I mean even student version is fine, okay. Cool. Is it necessary to learn Python? Yeah, yeah, it's really and Python is very very easy compared to the C sharp. Start with Python. Get six months or eight months, minimum six months experience on uh, Python, and then start learning C sharp. Once you start learning C sharp, you can't even. Um, Aha, Raghu, come on! You you paying twenty five thousand and Aha, no no, sorry. And if I'm I'm not offering Chat GPT four again here. Okay. So you are going to get the access for some time on this Beamer Team GPT for your learning. Okay, clear, clear, guys. So you are going to utilize my. Uh, you are going to utilize. But if you want to continue for for one year, you have to pay four triple nine and then enjoy it for one year. Okay, don't expect that lifetime. Aha, uh-huh. I have to sell my company to. Chat GPT, or else to you for free of cost. Okay, course duration it's thirty days on that. Thirty days. Okay, only weekdays, no weekends. Cool. I hope I answered all your questions, and it's time to leave. Okay, my my wife is waiting. Otherwise, she'll kick me out. Okay, thanks. Thank you so much for your patience, first of all, and your thing as well. Okay. Fees twenty five thousand abroad, twenty five k, twenty five k. Okay, don't call me sir. Simple Rajesh, corporate style. Okay, thank you, thank you everyone for your coming. Bye bye, bye. See you in the next. Okay, and drop a text if you like this uh, workshop. Please drop a text in the chat. I mean in the group, WhatsApp group that you enjoyed or not. Simple. Okay, it helps me a lot seriously. Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye. Good night.